So I wanted to go over with you guys one reason why you could be getting nuisance tripping on your GFI or your GFCI receptacles. Follow me over to the breaker panel and I'll show you one thing that somebody did wrong on this job. So over here at the breaker panel for the master bathroom, they have a GFCI uh, circuit breaker on a GFCI outlet and you don't need two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with a standard circuit breaker and that will help prevent the nuisance tripping. So the panels are all secured with uh, six screws on either side and you might wanna cut around the edge before you take off this. And also be careful when you're working on electricity, watch my safety video first. So if you can see this uh, GFCI circuit breaker, it has uh, three wires going to it. It has a black and two whites. Uh, we're gonna be moving the one white from the load over to the neutral bar, and we're gonna be removing the curly white wire which is attached to the circuit breaker because we're no longer gonna need that. Okay, so now that I got the breaker out, there was an additional problem. This breaker was really loose and you can see the clip, and the clip on this looks like it's, it just got worn out. So I'm gonna have to take my neutral and hook it back up on the panel and then hook my black up just like a standard breaker, like any of these ones that you see down here. Uh, so the back pin just snaps in and then you snap it in forward and now the breaker is on and I'm gonna go before I close this up I'm gonna go check the bathroom. I see I got I got power back on you know, everything in the bathroom is still working so we're good to go. If you learned something please consider hitting the follow button ask me any questions in the comments uh, and I can tell the guy that was in here before he put on bunch of these GFI breakers in. I may have to come back here and do some more. So we'll see you guys around.